Hey guys and welcome back to the Candicia Creations YouTube channel. So today I am super excited to show you guys some of the products that I've recently launched and I'm going to be showing you how I use them to create some super cute and glittery Christmas nails. Let's get on to these nails now. So today I'm going to be using this white gold twine foil. One of the foils from this silver snow set, I think the foil that I use is called Hollow Snowflakes 2. So these foils are available as a set and they are also available individually as well. I'm going to be using one of the foils from the Santa's Grotto set, which is this foil that I'm showing you right here, I'm sure it's called Rainbow Snowflakes. I'm going to use this acrylic from Glitter Bells. I'm using Pinkerbell cover and I'm also using glass slippers. I'm going to be using our Candy Floss Glitter Winter. And I'm going to be using the clear monomer from Glitter Bells. And here I'm just showing you the Rainbow Snowflakes foil from the Santa's Grotto set. So I'm starting with the pinky finger and I've just picked up a bead of Pinkerbell cover and I've placed that down on the nail bed and I'm dragging that bead down to cover the whole pinky fingernail. Oh wait, my bad, this is not a pinky finger, this is the ring finger. So I'm using that bead to cover the, the ring finger, not the pinky finger. So as you can see, the acrylic's still a little bit transparent so I'm just gonna go over it with another bead of acrylic just to make it a little bit more opaque. So this was actually my second time using these using these glitter bells acrylic and I'm going to I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. The first time I used them was a struggle. I was so disappointed, but it wasn't glitter bells fault at all. I'd actually use them on a super hot day. I think it was like 38 degrees and in my house, my house is like a sauna. It's so well insulated. So in my house it was probably over 40 degrees. So when I was applying this acrylic, it was setting within seconds. I was so angry. And I was literally doing like baby nails, like super short nails. But obviously that was just because of the heat and because I didn't really take the right measures to make sure that the monomer was cool before I, before I decided to use it the first time. But I'm really happy that I gave it a second chance because actually I do really enjoy using these acrylics. So now I'm just gonna cut off a piece of that white gold twine foil and I'm just trying to figure out how I want to place it on this nail. So this foil is basically white netting with gold foil running through it as well. It's super versatile. It's great if you wanna add dimension to your nails. It's not a transfer foil. You can't use transfer foil or transfer gel to apply it. You do have to encapsulate it to make sure that it stays in place. So I've pretty much just applied some clear acrylic to the nail, pressed the white gold twine foil onto the acrylic trimmed off the little excess bits that I didn't need and then I capped it with clear acrylic. After that I used a few little beads of clear acrylic, dipped those into the winter glitter and then I applied that around the gold twine. So once I've done that, I moved on to the middle fingernail. And again, I'm picking up a bead of the Pinkerbell Cover Acrylic. 
and I'm using that to cover the entire nail. So I've gone in with another bead of that same acrylic because you could see that it was starting to look a little bit translucent. And then once I'd covered that whole nail, I got some thread and I decided I was going to use that to cut into this acrylic diagonally. Now, unfortunately, clearly I was not using my brain at this point because I can clearly see that the acrylic isn't thick enough for me to be doing this, but I did it anyway. So. I just tried to make that as neat as I could considering it wasn't really working and then I just went in with another bead of the Pinkerbell cover and went over that diagonal part of the acrylic to thicken it up so I could go in with the thread again and do it properly this time and as you can see it looks a hell lot better than it did before. So now I've gone back to the ring finger and I'm just encapsulating that nail using the glass slippers acrylic. So now moving on to the index finger and I'm just using that same clear acrylic to pick up these glitters that I'm using which are winter and candy floss and I'm pretty much just applying them to the index fingernail. So when you do this it's better to roll the bead off your brush instead of trying to press it down because since you are picking up the glitter with the acrylic it's not gonna have the acrylic underneath it to stick it to the nail. So it's better to just roll the bead off the nail and then use your brush to press that bead down. You wanna try and get that glitter as flat on the nail as you can as well, because you don't wanna create like a really bulky nail with the glitter and end up having to file half of it off. So now I've moved on to the pinky finger and I've just picked up a little bead of the Pinkerbell cover, placed that onto the nail bed and I'm just bringing it down the nail and blending it out. Then I'm just picking up a little wet bead of the same Pinkerbell cover and using that to just create a little nice blend between the nail bed and the tip. I've then gone into the candy floss glitter and I'm placing that diagonally from the nail bed to the tip. And then I just encapsulate that whole nail using the clear glass slippers acrylic.
So now that I've done that, I've gone back to the middle finger now and I'm using my hand file just to file the edge of that acrylic and make sure that it's as straight as I can get it. And then I'm just using this white gel polish from Lavender Violets and I'm painting and I'm painting that onto where I just filed. I did clean that area with alcohol before I did this, by the way. You don't wanna um you don't wanna put the gel polish onto <laughs> onto um the dust. I cured the gel polish and now now I'm using the clear acrylic to pick up some winter glitter and fill that diagonal empty space on this nail with the glitter. I'm also just ripping up pieces of the white gold twine and I'm just adding that in as well. And I'm just pressing that into the wet acrylic. This will just add a little bit more dimension to this nail. Now, I don't know why I decided to do this, but for some reason, I decided to get this Barry M nail polish in pure sunshine and paint it to this edge as well. I mean, it would have been fine, and I guess it is quite pretty, but it's not a gel polish, so it takes a lot longer to dry. You can't just put it in the lamp and let it cure. <laughs> so I had to wait a long time for this to dry enough for me to cap it. And realistically, it probably wasn't 100% dry because these polishes do take hours to properly dry, but it's fine anyway. So once I've done that, I capped the tip using the clear acrylic. I didn't cap the whole nail because I am going to go back over it and file over that meeting point between the nude acrylic and the glitter. So now I'm using my cross safety bit on my e-file to go around the cuticle areas on all the nails other than the middle nail because that one's not finished yet. And I'm just cleaning them up, debulking, and I'm using this to shape the nails as well, which will save me some time when it, com when it comes down to hand filing. So now I've gone back to the middle finger nail and I'm using that same bit on my e-file to file over the meeting point between the nude acrylic and the glitter. Once I've done this, it just looks really nice and clean. And then once I've done that, I cleaned the nail using some alcohol and then I clear capped that entire nail using glass slippers. So now that I've done that, I've gone back to filing and now I'm using a hand file to finish shaping these nails and just get them looking as straight and clean as I possibly can. Now, as you can see, my client is super flexible, which is why her fingers were bent up in the air like that. But make sure you don't do that to your own clients because they probably will not be as flexible as my one. It's also a nuisance. It gets in the way. So I really don't know why I did that. <laughs> So I filed all the nails. I also went over the middle finger nail with the the e file, and I hand filed that one as well too. And now I'm moving on to the transfer files. So I'm just gonna start off with the index finger, and and I'm trying to figure out what exactly I'm gonna do, what foils I'm gonna place, and where. 
And once I've made up my mind, I'm applying my foil transfer gel to this nail and I'm curing it. I also applied it to the middle fingernail, but um, I didn't end up putting any transfers on this nail. So I'm just cutting little strips of the hollow snowflakes to foil and the rainbow snowflakes foil as well. I'm going to cut out the little snowflakes and any designs that I want to use. I've decided to cut out this white bauble and I'm pressing that down onto the nail bed of this nail. I'm also applying a little hollow snowflake as well. Now, I wasn't really sure about this purple snowflake because mm, I guess I'm not really a fan of purple, to be honest, but it actually looks pretty good in the end. So yeah, it looks nice. So when I'm doing nails, I kind of have like a, a slight idea of what I want to do, but I never really know. I never really know exactly what I'm going to do. I kind of just wing it. As I'm creating the nails, I basically decide what I'm going to do as I go along. I'm pretty much a let's just see how this goes kind of person so i did apply the transfer gel to the to the ring finger and to the pinky finger and on the pinky finger i've applied a little hollow snowflake to the tip of the nail and on the ring finger i've applied a little pink snowflake and a little pink star to the middle of the nail just on top of the white gold twine So once I've finished peeling the backing of all those foils off, I'm going to top coat the I'm going to top coat the index finger using this matte top coat. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit worried when I did this because you know the glitters are so pretty and I really didn't want to ruin them by making the nail matte. But I actually really love the way this nail turned out. So now I'm using some Blue Sky Builder Gel and I'm applying that to the little meeting point between the nude and the glitter tip on the middle finger because I want to apply some little crystals diagonally on that line. I'm also applying the Builder Gel to the cuticle area of the index finger because I'm, I'm going to apply some crystals here too. And again, I'm pretty much just going along with it and seeing what looks good and what I like.
So once I'd finished applying the crystals, I just went in and top coated the middle finger, the ring fingernail and the pinky fingernail using glossy top coat. I cured that and then I decided to swap the index finger with the ring finger and I think it looks so much better like this. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I really love these nails. These are like my kind of Christmas nails because they're versatile. You can use them during Christmas. You could also not put these snowflakes on and wear them during the rest of the year. Or let me know what you think. Do you like these nails? Would you wear them? Let me know and yeah, bye guys.